Hi everyone, Mike from the Excel Trainer here. To count the number of times a word or a number or a date appears in a range of cells, use the COUNTIF or COUNTIF S functions. They can even handle multiple criteria and wildcards. Stay tuned and I'll show you how to use them. Let's start with a simple example of when to use the COUNTIF function. Here's a partly completed vacation tracker. I need to know how many days vacation each person has booked during the month and how many days people are on leave on any given day. So in column AG, I need to count the number of times the letter Y appears in that row. And in row 19, I need to count the number of times the letter Y appears in that column. So I'll go over to AG and I'll type equals count if open brackets. The count if function takes two parameters. The first parameter is the range and that's the range that I want it to look in, which in this case is B6 to AF6. The second parameter is the criteria. In this case, I want it to count the number of times the letter Y appears. And because Y is text, it has to go in double quotes close the brackets and enter. And that shows me that the letter Y appears in that range twice. I can then copy the formula down. I'll do a similar thing for row 19. Port equals count if, open brackets, select the range, which is B6 to B18, comma, and the letter Y and then copy that across. Let's do another example. I've been tasked with organising a meal for the sales team at Excellent Ice Creams. The restaurant need to know how many people want each meal, chicken, steak or the vegetarian option. And I also need to keep a check on how many people have paid. So in G4, I will put equals count if open brackets. This time, the range I want it to look at is B5 to B17. Then the criteria, I can either type the word chicken in double quotes, or I can click on F4 because that contains the word chicken. Before I press enter, rather than typing in the other two formulas manually, I'll copy the formula down, but I'll need to make B5 to B17 absolute with the dollar signs and then copy it down. So now what it's doing is it's looking at the range B5 to B17, but it's looking for what's in F4, F5 or F6. If I went and changed one of these values, so Mike decides that he'd prefer to have chicken, I put chicken into B11 and it increases the number of chicken by one and reduces the number of steak by one. To count how many people have paid in K4, I can put count if, select the range, which in this case is C5 to C17. And this time I will need to put a Y. I can't refer to a cell because I don't have a cell apart from uh, column C. I don't have a cell that contains the letter Y and I could copy that formula down and change the Y to an N, but I can just as easily type the formula in manually. In this worksheet, I need to count how many employees have achieved a rating of four or five, and also how many achieved a rating of one, two or three. So let's do the four or five first. I'll put equals count if open brackets. The range is going to be B5 to B17 because that's the range with the numbers in. And the criteria is going to be greater than three. This is just one way of doing it. I'll show you a couple more ways in a minute, but greater than three. Now, it does not like that because the greater than three must go 
in double quotes. I know I told you in the previous example that you only use quotes when it's text, but you also use quotes when you're using a greater than or less than, and also when you're using dates, and we'll come on to dates shortly. So that shows us that five people have got a rating of more than three. And more than three is four or five in this case. So if I want to do a similar thing to count how many people have got a rating of one, two or three, I can use the criteria of less than four. So count if, select the range and then in double quotes, less than four. Now I'll change the first formula to be greater than or equal to four. So instead of greater than three, I'll use greater than or equal to four. It obviously gives us the same result and I can change the second one to be less than or equal to three. So a rating of one, two or three, the criteria less than or equal to three. I'll leave those there, but I'm going to show you another way that we can do this. And I've left those there so that you'll see that we get the same results. Again, I want to count how many people have a rating of four or five. So I can say count if B5 to B17, comma, four. Now the four doesn't go in quotes because it's just a number. Plus count if select the same range and then five. So it's just counting the number that have got four and adding to the number of cells with five in. Do a similar thing to count how many people have got one, two or three. So that would be count if, select the range, comma one, plus count if, select the same range, comma two plus count if select the same range comma three. This is a list of support calls logged with the IT help desk at Excellent Ice Cream. The help desk manager needs to know how many calls were resolved for a given day. Now, in the previous example, where I had multiple criteria, I used multiple count functions in the same cell and added the result together. That's because I was using the OR logic. Count the number of staff with a rating of four or five. Count the number of staff with a rating of one or two or three. However, in this example, I want to count the number of support calls where the date is the 12th of April and resolved is yes. So I have multiple criteria and I want to count how many items match both criteria. If I use the same formula as I did in the previous example, I wouldn't get the correct answer. 12th of April appears seven times in column A and the letter Y appears eight times in column C and seven plus eight is 15. When you have multiple criteria and want to count how many items match all criteria, in other words, and logic, not or logic, you need to use the count if s function. Now here, I can't say count the number of staff with a rating of four and five because each person can only have one rating. So it's four or five. So to do this correctly, I'm going to use, as I say, count if s, and this is how we do it. Equals count if s, open brackets. Then we do criteria range criteria in pairs for as many as we need. So the first criteria range is a5 to a17, then a comma. And the first criteria is the 12th of April. Now I can either type the date into the formula in double quotes, or I can select a cell with the date in. Then a comma, and then the second criteria range is C5 to C17, and a comma, and the second criteria is the letter Y in double quotes. Just to show you putting the actual date in the formula, 
I'll show you that in here. So equals count if s open brackets criteria range one a5 to a17 then the date in double quotes 12th of april 2022 and then the criteria range two and the second criteria which is a y and you can see that we get the same result in this demo i need to know how many of our sales team have an iphone how many have a Pro model from any manufacturer and how many have an iPhone Pro? And the demo will cover the use of wildcard characters. The asterisk is used to represent one or more unknown characters. So, for example, iPhone asterisk means that the cell starts with the word iPhone and is followed by zero or more characters. However, the word Pro could appear at the end of the cell entry or somewhere within the cell and may or may not be directly following the word iPhone. So for that one, I would need to use asterisk pro asterisk, which means any characters followed by the word pro followed by any characters. The any characters can include nothing. So that covers pro appearing at the end or even the start. So for the first example, I need to count the number of iPhones that we have. And looking at the data in column B, iPhone appears at the beginning. I can use a count if function here because I've only got the one criteria. So that's the range I want it to look at. And the criteria is going to be iPhone asterisk. It has to go in double quotes because it's text and I want it to pick up iPhone followed by any characters. And with this one, iPhone appears always at the start of the cell entry. So I don't need an asterisk before iPhone, although it wouldn't do any harm if I did put one in. The second example is to count how many pros we've got. And you can see that pro appears at the end of the cell entries apart from on B5, where it's actually in the middle of the cell entry. So I'll put count if open brackets, select the range and the criteria is asterisk pro asterisk. The third example, I need to count how many iPhone pros we've got. Now for this one, I will need two criteria because nowhere do we actually have iPhone Pro as two words together. We've got iPhone at the beginning of the cell entry and Pro either at the end or in the middle, but we don't have iPhone and Pro next to each other. So for this one, I'll need to use count if S because there's two criteria. Criteria range one is B5 to B17 and criteria one is iPhone asterisk in double quotes. Criteria range two is also B5 to B17. And criteria two, again, in double quotes, is pro. And that needs to have an asterisk before and after it. I also need to know about phone contract renewals so that I can budget accordingly. For the demo, we'll assume that we're in March 2022 and all renewals happen on the last day of a month. We can use count if for the first one because we only need to count how many times the 30th of April 2022 appears in column C. So I'll put equals count if open brackets, select the range, comma, and then type in the date, which is the 30th of April 2022. For the second requirement, renewals due this year, I'll use count if s because I need to know how many dates appear in column C that are between the 1st of January and the 31st of December. So that one will be count if s open brackets using C5 to C17 as the criteria range and then in quotes put greater than or equal to the 1st of the 1st, 2022. And for the second criteria range, it will also be column C. And the second criteria 
will be less than or equal to the 31st of the 12th, 2022. Now finally, I'll do another COUNTIFS function, and this is for iPhone Pro renewals due in 2022. So here I'm looking for iPhone asterisk, asterisk Pro asterisk, and any date in 2022. So that will be count if s, select the range with the models, specify the criteria. I'll put iPhone asterisk. The second criteria range, we'll use the same range. And this time we are looking for asterisk pro asterisk. The third criteria range will be column C and the criteria will be greater than or equal to the 1st of the 1st, 2022. And finally, the fourth criteria range will also be the dates and the criteria will be less than or equal to the 31st of the 12th, 2022. So that's how to use the COUNTIF and COUNTIF S functions to count the number of values that match a certain condition or conditions. If you found this video useful, please give it a like and make sure to subscribe for more. If you've got any suggestions for future videos, please let me know by leaving a comment below the video. I also have a free weekly newsletter packed with tips and tricks to help you become more productive in Excel, and you can sign up for that at theexceltrainer.co.uk. But until the next time, have an excellent day.